Good morning. This is PJ. This is our daily lectionary readings for Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. It is Thursday, so we are now looking ahead uh, to Sunday instead of looking back, and we're also in a new psalm. So Psalm 112, 1 through 9 is our psalm reading. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 1 through 14 is our Old Testament reading. And then the book of 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 5 is going to be our New Testament reading. And we will be in the message. Psalm 112. Hallelujah. Blessed man, blessed woman who fear God, who cherish and relish his commandments, their children robust on the earth and the homes of the upright. How blessed their house brim with wealth and a generosity that never runs dry. Sunrise breaks through the darkness for good people, God's grace and mercy and justice. The good person is generous and lends lavishly. No shuffling or stumbling around for this one, but a sterling and solid and lasting reputation. Unfazed by rumor and gossip, heart and ready, Trusting in God, spirit firm, unperturbed, ever blessed, relaxed among enemies. They lavish gifts on the poor, a generosity that goes on and on and on. An honored life, a beautiful life. Someone wicked takes one look and rages, blusters away, but ends up speechless. There's nothing to the dreams of the wicked. Nothing. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verses 1 through 14. Now listen, Israel, listen carefully to the rules and regulations that I am teaching you to follow, so that you may live and enter and take possession of the land of God. The God of your fathers is given to you. Don't worry and don't add a word to what I command you, and don't remove a word from it. Keep the commands of God, your God, that I am commanding you. You saw with your own eyes what God did at Baal Peor, how God destroyed from among you every man who joined in the Baal Peor orgies. But you, the ones who held tight to God, your God, are alive and well, every one of you today. Pay attention. I'm teaching you the rules and the regulations that God commanded me, so that you may live by them in the land you are entering, to take up ownership, keep them, practice them. You'll become wise and understanding. When people hear and see what's going on, they'll say, what a great nation, so wise, so understanding. We've never seen anything like it. Yes, what other great nations has gods that are intimate with them the way God, our God, is with us, always ready to listen to us? And what other great nation has rules and regulations as good and fair as this revelation that I'm setting before you today? Just make sure that you stay alert. Keep close watch over yourselves and don't forget anything of what you've seen. Don't let your heart wander off. Stay vigilant as long as you live. Teach what you've seen and heard to your children and grandchildren. That day when you stood before God, your God, at Horeb, God said to me, Assemble the people in my presence to listen to my words so that they will learn to fear from me. For the holy fear as long as they live on the land. And then they will teach these same words to their children. You gathered, you stood in the shadows of the mountain. The mountain was ablaze with fire, blazing high into the very heart of heaven. You stood in deep darkness and thick clouds. God spoke to you out of the fire. You heard the sound of words, but you saw nothing. No form, only a voice. He announced his covenant, the ten words, by which he commanded you to live. Then he wrote them down on two slabs of stone. And God commanded me at that time to teach you the rules and regulations that you are to live by in the land which you are crossing over the Jordan to possess.
Our New Testament reading comes from the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Every person who believes that Jesus is, in fact, the Messiah, is God-born. If we love the one who conceives the child, we'll surely love the child who was conceived. The reality test on whether or not we love God's children is this. Do we love God? Do we keep his commandments? The proof that we love God comes when we keep his commandments, and they are not at all troublesome. Every God-born person conquers the world's way. The conquering power that brings the world to its knees is our faith. The person who wins out over the world's way is simply the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And here ends our readings for the day.